Okay, here's another pair of my boots. Um, I'm not doing these boots in any particular order, um, so you must forgive me. I just took them out and I just started filming. Um, basically, these are a Chinese cheap ripoff of a very well-known brand, which I won't mention. Um, and this company is called TMC, uh, who make this particular uh, copy boot. Now, TMC, if anybody's into airsoft, know that they make repl replica products. They're a Chinese company, a uh, Manchurian, something Manchurian company, <clears throat> which is their full name. Um, a technical Manchurian company, I think it's called. Uh, and I got these again off eBay Band. Um, I really like the style of them and the look of them. And I didn't buy them for hiking, I actually bought them for fashion. These are for me are fashion boots, and I have been really, really, really surprised. They cost about 30 to 40 euros, had free shipping, and these things are pretty well made. Um, they actually do have an anti scuff plastic on the toe, which is actually very well made. They have an anti-scuff plastic on the actual side of the boot that runs up into the heel. And what these are actually designed for in the real boot is to stop sharp stones and other objects from actually poking through your canvas boot as you're hiking. Okay, and they also have a kickboard on this side in case you actually kick yourself or again from a sharp stone getting through and stop from damaging and wearing down your boot and it goes right up then you have to plastic toe cap as well. Again, that's to stop sharp objects and, and damaging your front of your boot. Um, the stitching on this is actually very well made. The fabric is, again, a type of suede fabric and they have a kind of durable fabric up here and this looks like a type of lycra. Um, the inside, again, it's a type of lycra, uh, breathable fabric on the inside and a breathable sock. These are not waterproof. Okay, the real ones are, the real ones have Gore-Tex lining in it, but as I said, these are a cheap copy. Um, I'm quite interested in the type of metal loop that they put on here, and then the fabric, metal loop, leather loop, and fabric, and then they have some very cheap hooks, which do their job. Um, they do swivel a little bit, which actually helps because then when you've tied them in, it does have that little freedom to move instead of being stuck and might actually cause more damage to the boot. As regards to the underside of the boot, um, they do make another rip-off copy of a different type of, of boot which actually does have a um, oh, have a Vibram sole on them, but these don't. These are their own sole, their own TM sole, and I am really really surprised. Um, they are quite rigid. The plastic actually wears very well. Now I've had these over six months and I've been wearing them throughout the summer because they're canvas and as you can see there is very little to no wear and tear on these. So I have a funny feeling that these sole is actually very well made. Probably made by a pretty good company in China who know what they're doing. So I'm really really surprised about the soles on these and I hope that I'm getting really good money for my value out of these. Now, why did I buy them? One, because their looks, they look like the real thing, um, even though they have the TMC on the side of it, not, people, not many people will notice. The other reason is because they're canvas. Okay, now I wanna talk about, a bit about canvas boots while we got these here. In my last uh, vid that I did of my uh, Merrill boots when I first got them, um, somebody asked about do they sweat a lot being in a hot, humid country because they're uh, Gore-Tex lined? Yes, they do. Okay. Now, my usually advice that I used to give hikers um, who were buying stuff in a shop that I was working in, from my own experience, is is this. If you're going to be hiking in a hot country or doing any type of trail work in a hot country, or even work, outdoor work, buy a pair of canvas boots which are going to breathe very well and give you the protection that your foot needs. If you're going down into an environment that the weather has changed or that you know that that day the weather is not that good, you can buy a Gore-Tex sock, okay? Um, a Gore-Tex sock basically fits over your foot like a normal sock and you can wear them inside the boots and that will give you then waterproofing on your feet. The boots are gonna get wet anyway. Don't worry about that, they'll dry out their canvas. 
long as you get them good ventilation they'll dry it in no time and with the Gore-Tex sock it's going to keep your feet dry and it's going to breathe as well now another brand of sock you can get this another brand we used to sell was seal skin socks which are um, a little bit more hard wearing and a bit more form fitting and they actually go higher on your leg to give you a bit more waterproof protection either of those would do perfect for this type of boot or any other type of canvas boot and then that gives you the option of that you have an all-terrain all-weather all year round boot either in hot in summer or wet in winter so that's something to think about when you're buying boots that um, do you really want them to be waterproof or could you actually have something else to help you make them waterproof okay um, so that's my little rant and rave about these boots and about wearing waterproof socks with them so please keep watching my other videos